Hi, how are you doing folks? Welcome to another walk with Harvey. Now this is the week running up to Christmas, so we're just trying to fit a couple of walks in before the next lock lockdown starts and the uh, Boxing Day. So today we're just doing one close to home, which is along the Coyle River. We're starting from near Downpatrick just before the roundabout and uh, heading down towards as far as you can walk basically along the river and then back up again. So not a circular route, just straight down and back today. If you wanted to extend this walk a bit further, you could start at Inch Abbey, which is just further up the road, but that would involve a bit of road walking as well. And we haven't got much time today. It's two o'clock already. In fact, it's quarter past two. So yeah, I've only got a couple of hours before the sun goes. So yeah, better get on with it. Speak to you in a bit. Now, didn't think I'd need my gaiters today, but looks like that might have been a bad decision. Uh, I'm not turning back now. Well, <laughs> absolutely drenched. Two minutes into the walk, but hopefully that's the last of the big puddles. We'll maybe dry out before we get back. Now, I may have been stupid enough to go through the puddles at the start of the walk, but even I'm not stupid enough to think that I can make it through this bit. <laughs> yeah, just be aware if you're doing this walk that the Coyle River can be prone to, <laughs> to bursting its banks. So yeah, that, that would be ridiculous <laughs> trying to go down that path at the minute. So I think we're going to have to go down the road for this next bit. So it looks like on this side of the bridge as well, we've got a good bit of flooding. I'm pretty sure further down that it should be okay. It's hoping anyway. Now, if you want to make this walk shorter, there are parking spaces pretty much all the way along the road that runs parallel with the, the Coyle River. So this is the first one after the bridge, but there's another couple and even more further down the road. Now, this sign here has always confused me. It says this is part of the Lacale Way. Now, if you'd watched some of my earlier videos, you'll know I did the entire Lacale Way from Down Patrick all the way to Newcastle. And this wasn't on the route, so I'm just wondering if this is just a wee add on. But there's not a continuous path that you can take that would lead you on to Strangford from here. So, yeah, that's a bit confusing. But anyway, let's keep going. Looks like this bit of the pass waterlogged as well. May have to go the other way. Yeah, maybe I didn't pick the right day for doing the Coil River. Plenty of flooding. I'm going to risk this bit. I don't think it could be too deep. Famous last words. And I'm soaked already, so I don't really care anymore. <laughs> I 
suppose the one benefit of it being flooded is nobody else is stupid enough to use the path so I can film in peace. <laughs> Now on the Coyle River they don't allow boating, canoeing, that type of thing, or swimming probably. But Harvey usually likes to go for a swim, but uh, I don't think I'm going <laughs> to let him go in today. I might not get him back. Now avid fans of Game of Thrones may spot this view here. It's one of the uh, locations for the River Run, season three, episode one, if you want to check it out. Steamboat Key. This key has been renovated by the Department of Agriculture. So this key was constructed in the mid-1830s. The landlord of Downpatrick to assist the operations of the County Down and Liverpool Steam Packet Company. There we go. And this is basically as far as you can get down the river at the minute. So uh, further on down the river in that direction, eventually it brings you down towards Strangford. Now if they could, uh, if they could sort it out, to have a path running the entire length of the river as part of the Lakeo Way would be a much needed improvement to the route. If you watched my Lakeo Way video, you would have seen some difficult patches that I had to navigate. If they could make it go along the river for the first stretch of the Lakeo Way, that would be an absolutely fantastic part of the route. So hopefully at some point in the future, they might be able to do that, but I think that a lot of that is private land at the minute. But anyway, this is us halfway along the, today's walk, so a quick time check. 2.90 miles, just about an hour. So I was uh, jogging at certain parts just to make sure we got this walk in before the light completely went. Okay. Are you two ready to head back? I think so. Okay, let's head back. Sun's popped its head out again. I thought we'd lost the light completely there, but it's a lovely light at this time of day anyway. So hopefully some of these shots are looking good. just checking this sign I just remembered there's the Coyle Countryside Centre just over the other side of the road uh, where the Coyle Castle is as well so I might just have a quick look at that and that will mean avoiding that flooded bit on the way back so let's go and have a quick look. go, we sign. When this tower house was built, soon after 1600, barges with 100 tonne cargoes would navigate the coil up to this point. 
The river was much wider than today and liable to flood. Oh, tell me about it. Yeah, so this is another one of these uh, posh houses rather than a castle. Yeah, there's a few of these about. There was one on the Lakeo Way as well. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll stick a link up above. Let's see if we can get the dogs a wee drink here. Have a drink. Look, Cully. No, not thirsty. Now this junction here, if you want to do the walk up to St. Patrick's statue of Saul, that's only a mile down the road here. I'll put a link to that video up as well. Now, we didn't see any rutting deers today, so uh, I don't think I've ever seen a deer down this path, actually. thinking I'm pretty sure there's going to be no other dogs down this path because it was waterlogged on the way up so I might let these two off for, for the final bit here. Do you want to get off you two? Here we go again with the puddles. Come on, Harvey, you wimp. Okay, that says nearly back at the van here. I'm just packed up there, but there is another car park just another couple of hundred meters down this path towards Stan Patrick. Okay, that's us back at the van now. So one final time check. Uh, according to the Relive app, it's 5.3 miles, one hour, 56. So yeah, I was jogging on bits of that so I could do this walk in the daylight. And as you can see, there was uh, definitely some uh, waterlogged patches on that walk but during the summer months you're, you're usually fine it doesn't usually get as bad as that but yeah this is probably in my last video uh, before christmas so happy christmas thanks for watching if you have been over this year i only started doing these videos at the start of 2020 I didn't know what type of year 2020 was going to turn out to be but it sort of kept me sane being able to do something to keep me busy when I've not been able to juggle. So yeah, thanks for watching and subscribing if you have done so far. I might take a couple of weeks break as we go into the new year. In Northern Ireland here, we're on a six week lockdown after Boxing Day. So yeah, my opportunities to get out and walk might be restricted a bit, but yeah, I might keep a, take a couple of weeks off and then start again. But yeah, 
happy Christmas, happy new year. I hope we get one done next week, but then after that, break for a couple of weeks. But see you again soon. Cheers, bye. Thank you.